My name is Zach Fannenstiel. I'm the training sergeant for the San Diego Police Canine Unit. My job is to oversee all the trainers here within our canine unit. I've been on for 15 years um, and assigned to canine for eight of those years. My name is Officer Mitch Tani. I'm a canine handler with the San Diego Police Department. I've been a canine handler now for a little over two and a half years. I started in 2020. Yes. Oh, good boy. Right now, my partner is Hondo. He's a three-year-old Belgian Malinois. Oh my goodness, look at all that slobber. We put a lot of time and effort into perfecting the dogs, being able to get them prepared for the things that they're gonna see out on the streets, and also prepares the officers as well. Not only are we doing dog training, uh, like having them jump up and in the obstacles that you see behind me, but we're also training the officers themselves. So we're putting ourselves into scenario-based training, uh, critical thinking, decision-making, uh, not only on the dog, but on the handler. The calls that we are going to are the violent calls, the gun calls, the person with a weapon call, barricaded suspect calls, um, things of that nature. So we need these handlers at the top of their game for sure. Um, and that's gonna be on the trainer to make sure that they are successful out in the field. It's, it does require a great deal of mental work because you have to think and you have to make smart decisions, of course, but you have to have some level of physical fitness that you have to train for as specifically as a female. My name is Cassie Ken. I'm a police officer with San Diego Police Department, specifically a canine handler. Hup. I've been with the canine unit for about three and a half years, and my dog's name is Valdo. He's a Belgian Malinois, and he's about five and a half years old. The Canine Handler of the Year Award, it's for a handler that just showed that, that top tier level of teamwork, the motivation, the know-how, and the abilities, and we all vote on that as a unit, um, and this year it's Cassie Kin. It means a lot to me that any, even if one person thought that I was deserving of that award and, and to be in that title is incredibly flattering. I've watched Cassie over the last year and a half that I've been here develop into a leader in this unit. Uh, she's gone out there as a supervisor when we asked her to do it. She's become a trainer when we asked her to do it. She's run our last uh, Canine Academy when she was very busy, but she still made the time to do it. She genuinely cares about the unit. We look to her for her leadership, for her experience, and the example she sets for our other handlers and those that want to come to the unit. So I personally appreciate what she's done for us. She's a good boy. I actually wanted to join the mounted unit when I first came on, because I had ridden on and off my whole life. So I thought that was for me. Uh, the mounted unit actually was disbanded. <laughs> so that wasn't an option any longer. And to be honest, I didn't think that I had it in me to be a canine handler. I love the idea of it. I had a lot of respect for handlers and I had a lot of gratitude for the things the dogs did for us. I think it was just me being inspired by those that had already come here that I'd worked with and they believed in me. Phenomenal trainer. She was hand selected to be a trainer. She's able to teach the person and able to problem solve the dog as well as having that credibility out in the field. She has numerous successful apprehensions, interventions. She certainly walks the walk for sure. So uh, this was a very easy selection. Plus. I don't think that there's many jobs in the world that you can have an opportunity to work with an animal and be able to problem solve some of these uh, critical instances. My name is uh, Jason Langley. Um, I'm currently a police officer too with the San Diego Police Department, assigned here at K9 Division. And my uh, partner's name is Ace. Ace is a dual purpose dog. We have the apprehension portion of it where I can utilize Ace to be a psychological deterrent for some of these suspects that we confront. Also, Ace is trained in article searches. So any item that contains a human odor that has been manipulated by the human, whether it be a, a magazine from a gun, a firearm itself, one of the officer's body cameras that have fallen off, I can send Ace out on a search for that and he can locate these items. It's going on, I think we might have a uh, firearm located on the roof. The most enjoyable thing about being here as a lieutenant in this unit is seeing the capability of the handler and the dog and how they resolve these incidents for our police officers and how they can keep them safe. There's a tangible effect that these dogs have for officers and for the public. Good. Hondo is a great dog. His balance between being able to work and apprehend a suspect, but then also now relax at home, be good with my family, probably one of the greatest things I love about him. Do anything for me, do anything for any other officers, you know, without 
ever batting an eye. To me, I mean, he's just the greatest partner you could ask for. There are so many things that are special about Baldo, and I think any handler might say the same thing. There's that saying that everybody thinks they have the best dog, and everybody is right. He's a good boy.